my name is Monica and Fausto and I work in La Rica Chocolatilla. traditional agriculture systems are, and are owned by small or medium cacao producers and they are carried from generation to generation through time. So all the nutrients and all the minerals that live in the agroforestry system have a direct impact on the flavor of the cacao bean because everything is sustainable inside of a cacao plantation or an agroforestry system and as many different flavors happening in the flowers and the fruits and the trees, we are going to have uh, small flavor notes in also the cacao beans. There are three main classifications when it comes to cacao varieties. The first one are the forasteros, which are endemic from the north part of the Amazonas. Or next we have the natives or the criollo variety which are endemic from Mesoamerica and this is a region that, that starts from the middle part of Mexico and goes all the way down to Central America and we have a third variety which are the trinitarios and these trinitarios are hybrids between a, a mix, a natural mix between forasteros and native cacaos. making chocolate is a tradition. But in Mexico, rather than eating cacao, we drink it. There are more than 60 different cacao-based drinks that are currently drinking in the south part of Mexico. And sadly, 30 years ago, these beverages were displaced by the candy chocolate. Now, in Mexico, we have all these different kind of cacao-based drinks and they are endemic from every single region or every single community. These communities use cacao and different spices that grow in the region such as chile, achiote, and corn mostly. A lot of the drinks that we have nowadays, they also use cacao and corn. All of these drinks are meant to nourish our body and comfort ourselves. We have two different challenges when it comes to agroforestry systems and one of them is preserving those systems. We need to have uh, fair prices for the producers in order to keep them away from different threats such as uh, agro-industry, mining, uh, monocultives and others. So the second challenge is the food sovereignty. And a lot of the issues that we have in Mexico regarding uh, food is obesity and the, the uh, quality of the food that we are eating. And one of our goals is to change the way people see chocolate and cacao and to make them see them as a superfood rather than a candy. 